Well, they knew big changes were coming at some point, but hundreds of workers at the Revere Neko candy plant are now suddenly out of a job. They learned just yesterday that the business was shutting down immediately. WBZ's Beth Germano has the story. The news came as a shock to employees of the 171-year-old confection company, famous for its iconic wafers and sweethearts and chocolates. Maria and her husband are among 230 workers who found out yesterday they'll lose their jobs. I feel very sad about it, you know, because everybody lost their job. The company is one of Revere's largest employers, and while it had been struggling financially, the mayor of Revere, blindsided by the news, said there seemed to be a positive road ahead with a new buyer. We were hopeful that the new the new folks would turn around. Uh, NECO the way that they had turned around previous companies that they came in and bought. The company was just purchased at an emergency bankruptcy auction back in May. And while it's been sold again, it's unclear who the new owner is or if candy production will continue. The cloud of secrecy and the suddenness of the announcement left workers who attended a company meeting yesterday shaken and uncertain. Some people cry, you know, because they work a long time in there, you know, like 30, 40 years. You know. They got a tax deal to come to, the, to our city and uh, to be in this situation where now they're leaving and, uh, and without any notification uh, is uh, disappointing and uh, unfortunate. The mayor says several local companies are offering potential jobs, though not enough to fill every position. For now, employees have been told to pick up their final paychecks on Friday. In Revere, Beth Germano, WBZ News.